welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I am Veronica and today we're gonna do a cute Frenchy Christmas ornament. So if you like doggy decor, this one is for you, so don't miss out and let's get started. For this project I chose plastic medallion and I painted it with white paint twice. Let it dry between each layer. I have this cute French Bulldogs Christmas on rice paper images. I cut out the images with water pen. If you don't have water pen, just use small brush and water. I never do cut out my images because I don't like the sharp edges and with this water pen it is better for blending. Then I tear up the image in few places so it can fit better onto the ornament. I apply some decoupage glue onto the ornament itself, then I apply the image on the ornament and then glue it all with good amount of decoupage glue. Make sure there is no excess glue on your ornament because that will dry out white, not clear. The same steps I repeat on the other side of the ornament. These are the colors I chose for my ornament. So first I started with a little bit of light gray and I even paid the rice paper itself. So don't be afraid to go inside the rice paper for better blending. Then I applied a little bit of blue on the ornament. The same step on the other side of the ornament, first a little bit of light grey on the whole ornament, even I am going inside the rice paper and then I just apply a little bit of blue on the bottom side of the ornament.
And after I am done, I let it all dry. With a small brush, water and some paint, I am applying dots on the ornament. Also, I let them dry. This next step is fully optional, but I like to apply decoupage glitter glue onto the ornament. If you don't have this kind of glue, no problem, just skip this step. Also here, make sure there is no excess glue on your ornament because it will dry white and not clear. Now it is time to seal our ornament. I use pouring glaze from Pentart. I applied four layers, uh, let it dry between each layer. And this way it will give my ornament a glass look. For a little bit of decor, I use some air drying clay, some molds, and I wanted to use this stamp, but then I decide against it. I am gluing the clay with uh, express glue from All material and links will be posted in description below, so go ahead and check them out as well. Since the clay is still wet, uh, make sure to be very careful when you are applying it on your ornament so you don't ruin your mold design. Also, I am applying a little decorated clay bow on the ornament. and some clay Christmas gifts as well. If you like this kind of tutorial, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. After drying, it is time to paint our clay part. First, I painted the whole thing gray, but I didn't like the outcome. So I decided to paint the whole thing uh, metallic brown. So as you can see, even a crafter can change her mind about what she is doing. After drying, it was time to seal the clay part, so I use matte varnish for this. Of course, you can use glossy one as well, water-based varnish.
For a little bit of 3D look, I use 3D pen from Pentart and some snow pen as well. I just put a little bit of access on the bow of the Frenchie on the gift and so. With the snow pen I decorated the Santa head and around the edges of the clay and a little bit inside of the clay as well. Now it's time to make a bow which will go on top of our ornament. For this I use my trusted Pro Bow D hand. After putting the bow on the top of the ornament, I applied a, a jingle bell on both sides of the ornament. And here it is all finished, a cute Frenchy Christmas ornament. One side shows Frenchy girl and the other side shows a Frenchy boy. Did you like this tutorial? If you did, please do give me a thumbs up or comment. Please do subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what's your favorite dog breed in the comments. Until next time, bye.